All right, guys, we've got an image sent in by this dude here. So his details will be down in the description for you guys to go give him a follow. So as you can see, we've got a lot of beach sunset shots and a very, very flat image. So we're going to be bringing up those blacks and bringing down those whites to create a very low contrast image. So really nice colors and a really nice soft looking image. And we're going to be looking at recreating one of these shots this one here in Lightroom. So let's do that and be sure to go give him a follow down in the description guys. So let's get into it. As you can see, we have really cropped in on a one by one ratio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is enable profile corrections, come back up, add in a bit of warmth and bit of purple out so exposure bringing it up a bit and I'm gonna bring the contrast down as I said before this is gonna help get that flat look highlights and whites are most likely coming down shadows down Probably actually have to bring the whites up a tad for this image. We might have to come back to that. I just want to do uh, some. So bringing down the clarity a little will add a little softness vibrance take a bit out of those mid-tones bit of saturation so I'm gonna do the RGB curve so I'm gonna be bringing up the blacks to create the fade in the blacks and also bringing down the whites to create that flatness in those bright whites as well and then I'll be doing just a simple S curve in the uh, red blue and green channel So I think that's the curves done. Coming down, I want to put a bit of a vignette on the image. As you can see, we've got slightly darker corners. Keep the feathering, decent amount of feathering. As you can see what that's doing. Keeping it up, and then the midpoint. In the middle there, so, moving on we are, uh, so, profile corrections isn't quite doing it completely. You can just see that he's a little larger in this one. So, what I'm gonna do is just, what I think's been done is he's kind of compressed it maybe like this. And I think that looks a little better. Uh, so going to move on to colors. So I'm going to start with split toning because there's going to be quite a bit of split toning because there's a lot of blues in those shadows. We've got pretty warm highlights up here. So... Put a lot of that in there. And now we've got to fill our shadows with a nice blue. And 
and right. So I'm going to do some calibration now and you sort of use these to get somewhere towards your look and then you find generally fine tune it with the HSL but you don't have to do calibration but I am for this one so what I'm going to do is shift these towards more of a yellow saturate them a bit and then get a bit of that pink look by shifting it towards a bit of an orange and teal desaturate that as well and we're not looking too bad and so time to fine tune it with the HSL just gonna try to match up the colors oranges a bit towards the reds Yellows are looking a little orange. Hardly any greens, if any. Not many aquas. So blues. I'm going to shift them slightly towards the teal. Not many purples. Right saturation. Bring up those yellows a bit. And luminance so this is gonna, gonna deepen some of those colors and not give them such a shine as you can see just deepen a few of these maybe oranges up a tad yellows blues brighten them up a tad right so these are before and after so far and I just want to double check a few things right so I just want to uh, create a more of an emphasis on the reflection here so got really awesome symmetry going on and I just want to bring that out and a really good way to do that is with graduated filters so grab one of these flip it around Just click off this now if I bring up the contrast and 
Oh shit, there's a tad. And then what's really gonna give this a shine is clarity. I think that looks quite a bit better. So I wanna do something similar to the sky. Just touch it up, I don't think we're quite looking the same. I'm just trying to fix it up. I think I'm gonna put more green tint in there. Cool it off a tad. Bit more blues in there by cooling it off. Uh, so we've got a really nice soft looking sky. Those, those clouds are looking really soft. So I'm gonna drop the uh, clarity, uh, contrast, Might just drop the shadows quite a bit. Bring in a bit more of that vignette. And then soften it a bit more by reducing the clarity. As you can see, those clouds get quite a bit softer in the entire image. Right, so I want to do one more down here. I think we're looking a little dark down here. And I want a nice soft transition from the bright areas here to these dark areas. So I can do that by just bringing down the contrast. So it's gonna brighten those shadows a bit and then darken those highlights a bit. So nice soft transition. And I think we're looking pretty close. Here's our before and after. pretty good so far and as you can see he has taken out a lot of um, the messy bits in the sand so you can try to do that with this tool here otherwise you have to take it into Photoshop so if you just click and say I want to replace this bit of the sand with this area here so place it there and then you'll want to work with your opacity and size. But um, I'm actually going to bring it into Photoshop. I think it'll be much easier. So here's a before and after. Pretty close. There might be some small differences, but pretty darn close from what I can see at the moment. Right, to get into Photoshop, you need to come up here, click help, type in photo. Shop, edit in Adobe Photoshop. So now we are in Photoshop, so what you always want to do is duplicate your background. So you're working with a new copy, so you can always go back if you make a mistake. And what I'm gonna do, zoom in and you want the clone stamp tool and how this works is you are picking up and dropping pretty much so if you press alt I can select an area here and replace it 
on top of where I want to. And you've got things up here like opacity, you might bring it up a little. Click here. You probably want to make it a bit bigger. You want, you want to make sure the lighting is similar, so grab it from the spot across. Bracket key to adjust the size of your brush. And you just want to keep doing this to all of the sand. And I'm just going to leave it there guys, so yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you guys are liking about these tutorials, and yeah, you can go give him a follow down in the description, give myself a follow, uh, comment down below who you guys want to see, but make sure they don't have too many followers, that way I can reach out to them, they can send in a photo, and I can do a tutorial on them. So yeah, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.